Hey everyone, it's Woody here. I hope you're well. Welcome to another Overland Talk video. Today's topic is somewhat controversial. We're looking at LED light bars versus spotlights. We're going to be weighing up the pros and cons of both options and concluding for ourselves what the best light is. We'll start with the spotlights. There are a number of advantages when it comes to spotlights and a number of pros. They are the more traditional looking light. People know them, people love them. You often see them mounted on bull bars, nudge bars at the front of a vehicle. When it comes to a spotlight, one of the advantages would be long distance. In a HID light, they're often extremely focused and extremely long distance. Another advantage would be there's a number of filters to change the beam pattern a number of protectors to protect the light and they're all readily available. Some disadvantages of spotlights would have to be the limited mounting options. Generally, if you're not getting into some specific mounting brackets, you're either limited to the bull bar or some sort of nudge bar. There are some specialized brackets available to mount them in other locations, but that can become quite costly and maybe not as aesthetically pleasing. Another potential disadvantage of spotlights could be the size. If you're really shooting for that long distance light, you could end up with a light that is quite large in diameter. A pair of those on the front of your vehicle could really restrict some airflow into the grill and lead to potential engine temperature issues. Moving on to light bars. There are a number of advantages of mounting light bars over spotlights. The first advantage would definitely be the mounting options that are available. We have end mounting, underside mounting, to suit anywhere you want to put them. And they come in all shapes and sizes, to fit anywhere you need them. Another distinct advantage of light bars is the multiple beam pattern options in the one light. Often you'll have a spotlight in the middle with clear lenses and they'll have a corrugated lens either side to act as floodlights, giving you the multiple options of beam all together in the one. Due to the traditionally low profile design of a light bar, one of the advantages would be that it's ideal for areas in which you're concerned about airflow. A disadvantage of mounting light bars would be the limited options in terms of filtration and protection. Spotlights have a range of readily available colour filtration options which are great for smoky or foggy conditions. The same options for light bars aren't as readily available. Another disadvantage that light bars have over say spotlights is the range. Often spotlights are designed so that they have a much more focused beam and shine further down the road. You just won't get the same distance out of a light bar. We've covered a lot of the advantages and disadvantages of both spotlights and light bars. Now, on the Australian Overlander Jeep, we've gone with a combination of both. We're utilising the versatility of spotlights and their available filter options, as well as the ease of mounting of the LED light bar. We find having two different perspectives and getting the best of both worlds really delivers us the ultimate lighting setup. Specifically what we're using is the Lightforce Venom LED spotlights and the Lightforce 50 inch single row light bar. We're getting the advantages of having a source of light that's high above my eye line. We use a single row so it's nice and slim and sleek on top of the Jeep. And the advantages of using the Venom RAN spotlights is access to the colour filtration and beam filtration that's readily available as Lightforce accessories. Another consideration you're going to make before you purchase is the price. When you're comparing quality products, you're going to find that a pair of spotlights is going to be quite similar in price to a quality light bar. Guys, there's a lot to consider when it comes to a purchase decision of either spotlights or a light bar or both. We've touched on a few of them. I'm sure that's not everything. There's some things we can't put into this video, but I hope it helps. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and share and subscribe. It really helps and it's a lot of encouragement. See you later.